we're gonna be doing the Top Man stage, and I gotta say, the Robot Master you get for beating this one, probably one of the best in the game. So I'm glad that we're doing this one now. It's Flash Man. And you might think, well, what, what the fuck could he do? He can freeze time. Well, he, he can shoot, so it feels like you're using Mega Man, which is cool. Like that, it's but it's it's different enough because his shots spread out, where it feels kind of special. But the thing about Flashman is cool, is that he fucking shoots a lot, and that's about it. And he like squats if you hold the button. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I think he's just thrusting. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. I haven't found a use for it yet. But he's definitely one of the best. I mean, you'd think you'd think the spread wouldn't work, but you're wrong. It's fucking good. And I don't even know how to clear this. What the fuck are you doing, Flash Man? But you can freeze time? What is it? what, it's even better, is you were already dead. Did you see that shit? He killed him when time was frozen. However, when time unfroze, he died. He stayed alive until time was unfrozen. That's pretty fucking cool. Like that is a really, really cool touch. And you could just and you could use the time stopper like just whenever you're like nervous about enemy placement or something. It's really a great utility. You just gotta wait for it to fill up. And I, I used it earlier so I wouldn't, like, abuse it against this tabby. Maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just a sucker, but I, I wanted to at least have, like, a fair fight, because I love using Flash Man. And jump off to the side, and you will find our swirly item. That's what I like to see. And that's, I don't know, like, you, you might think, well, that's kind of hard to find, but not really. I mean, there's open space over to the left. You should probably just try it, you know? And th this is the only kind of tough enemy placement. You gotta, like, tilt your bullets downwards to get that top the top man. But it's it it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> That's, I don't know, that one's kind of tough. I, I could have switched to somebody, but I love using Flash Man so much. It's fucking, it's a, it's a pointless gesture to do otherwise. And I, like, see, I've only gotten hit, like, once or twice, maybe. Like, that's... I, I, I dig this Flashman thing. It's working for me. It's doing it for me. I, like, I'm trying to look for negatives in this game, but it's really not that easy. Like, I don't know, I guess the music loops a little weird. Like, some t it doesn't really loop, like, very organically. Like, it... it, it I don't know. I, I can't really blame them, because... I, I, I don't fucking... Who cares? The game's good. I'm trying... Like, I want to look for things that could be fixed, but whatever, who cares? Oh my, IGN? Gives a fuck. No, this game's just good. And th this puzzle, you'd think like, oh, well, it's real simple, you just freeze time. But not really, because sometimes those things get, those blocks will get in your fucking way. And see, you already froze time, and now they're moving again. So you can wait for time, your time stopper to refill if you want, but you don't really have to. You can just go up the ladders, it's still fucking cool. And somebody asked me the other day, I'm not actually making this up. Somebody actually did ask me this. I don't know why. But they said, to, and I don't know why there's like a little thing you can slide into down there, because I don't think any of the robots can slide, but maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Somebody asked me, uh, are the uh, Day in the Limelight games like the best uh, hacks that you've ever played? I, well, I, first of all, I did instruct this person. It's not a hack, stupid. It's a fan game, dork. Which, uh, of course, um... They did apologize for being incorrect. Because a hack, who cares? But, I, I I don't know. These are some of the best fan games I've played. Like, it, it takes something really, like, that you'd think has been done to death. Like, oh, someone hacked Mega Man, who cares? Well, they turn it into something really fucking impressive. Like, they reset all the boss AI. Like, if this was just a ROM that they reset, well, I don't know. It wouldn't be very good, it would probably be pretty shitty. But by doing this as a freeware game, it's really fucking cool. So... I don't know what to say, it's just pretty good. You don't have to freeze Top Man, but it makes it easiest to do it. And I like, they actually kind of made Top Man a little more threatening. Slightly, not much. Because, you know, Top Man's a fucking jobber, no matter where he is in life. And what's that? Oh, we cut him down to size. Well, looks like he's still alive. But oh, he fucking delayed explosion, bitch. I love that so much. That is the coolest. It doesn't even need to be there, but I love that effect so much. I can't explain in words. Like, that is just really cool. It's a cute little touch. It doesn't mean anything. Like, that's the only thing I like in games anymore is little things that don't mean anything. Hmm. Magnet Man's good enough for me. But 
who are we going to use against Magnum Man? Well, not one of my favorites, but he's still pretty good. Uh, Heat Man, he's a little box boy. I don't know what else to say about him. He's pretty fucking ugly. And as you might recall, the atomic fire was the first chargeable weapon in Mega Man history. This is interesting to note because Mega Man has not previously charged any weapons in Mega Man 1. Who cares at all? Nobody fucking cares. Everyone knows that. But, oh, look at that! Heat Man can charge and he does that little fire dash. It's a little short range from how he did it in uh, Mega Man 2, but that's alright. Like, I mean, it's okay. Heat Man's getting a little older, and let's be honest, he's put on some fucking weight. He's just doing his best, and, like, you can't really criticize him for it. He's, he's trying. He's not good at it, but, I mean, fuck. I, you'd think, like, oh, man, those spikes, but you just, you just gotta dash over them, dog. They make good use of the dash. I like that. This stage is built around Heat Man being a fucking total goofball, and I'm glad they do the two pillars of fire instead of one, because... Fuck that. And I'm, I'm just gonna show you, man. I like Flash, man. I just, I just wanna fucking freeze time. Is that so wrong? I mean, granted, I could use fucking Heat Man, but... The, the only problem with being able to use any Robot Master is you can just kind of cheese any section where it's like, well, I'll use Heat Man to dash up there. Well, no, I wanna use Air Man to just use his high jump. And that's also another problem with Air, is uh, Heat Man, is his, his jump is really lacking. I mean, granted, that's because you're supposed to use his his jump or his his uh, his heat dash, but I just don't do that because I have other robot masters. So sorry, Heat Man. I mean, good try. It's just you're all right, but you you do want him for this. You dash up here to get your spiral and pretty tits, huh? There's nothing over there, Heat Man. I don't know what you're doing dash over here, and you might think you gotta go back down, but no, you can just take a little shortcut out here. I'm not getting him so... Oh, you fucker. Hold on, I'll just get over here. We gotta... Oh, this guy's a piece of shit. I am not ha... Alright, fuck this. I'll try here, man. And push that fucker away. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, but... Why? He's still down there? Fuck it. Go away. Dick. They just had to hit me when I was looking all cool. Now this is something else cool with the like the, the tornado physics blowing everybody around. You can blow these enemies, these magnets around, and like they'll they'll still hold your they'll still hold whatever robot master, well almost whatever robot master. But it's pretty cool. And now you got to be careful because if you run right into that magnet, it's gonna hurt you. So you don't want to kill it or or get too close. Well, you can kill it now. Fuck that magnet. Waste my cocksucking time getting me an E-Tank. But that's that's all I'm saying. It's just, just kind of cool, man. I appreciate that. It makes things a little a little more interesting. Because they really, honestly, in Mega Man 3, they didn't use these magnet enemies at all. They just kind of... They, they, they were in the beginning of that one magnet stage. I don't know what the guy's name was. I think it was Magnet Dude or something. But we're at him now. And he his, his boss fight is... It isn't completely revamped, but it's still... It's it's a fresh experience, just with these things on top. And, oh, we got hit. Well, it looks like we get sucked up into his little vacuum. And Heat Man's taking damage, kind of like a chump, we'll be honest. Fuck. I'm getting, I'm getting my tits handed to me. I'll just... And I dash away, though, if you need to, man. Don't, don't be too scared. But I keep wanting to dash into Magnum Man, even though it's not always the best solution to hitting him. I just like doing it, because it makes you feel cool. Or dash away from him if he's doing that shield. I don't know. It's not a tremendously tricky fight. You just have to keep in mind when Magnet Man's jumping. Like, he, he follows a very straight, linear pattern. It's just that I sometimes just forget what I'm doing, and I'm lazy, and I don't feel like doing what I'm supposed to. How do you like that? It was really risky. Could have killed me if that didn't kill him. But whatever, I'll just light up, light up the night. That's all for today, though. We'll be back with two more robot stages sometime, whenever the fuck who cares. And I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you're excited to see. I know somebody said Metal Man. Not fucking likely yet. But thanks to River Road for making this. And thanks to whoever else helped him. I don't care. I'm only going to memorize one name.